how you can eat clean on a cruise ship. That's right. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of posts, a lot of comments in Facebook groups, YouTube, and just people overall wondering how you can eat clean on a cruise. So there's ways to do it, take some tips and tricks, but we're just going to show you guys the way of how to do it. Yes. So we are in the Windjammer right now of the Freedom of the Seas, and I'm going to show you around the buffet and see what you can eat for clean. All right, let's go do it. Cool. We'll be back. Okay, so this is a great start, fresh from the garden. There's always a salad bar available, um, but we know that you don't always want to eat salad, so I'm going to show you a couple other options, but this is what the salad looks like. The tip for the salad bar, if you just want to do a salad, you want to make sure that you add some protein, um, whether it's some uh, deli meat or um, if, if they have like some chicken or barbecue chicken, just put that on top of your salad and go light on the dressing. So you can skip the dressing altogether or just use a little bit. But now, we're going to see what other options are healthy. Here's some fresh cut vegetables and some spinach. Um, and even a little bit of rice. So here's curry rice. Um, probably want to stay away from anything fried. I feel like that is a um, kind of a no-brainer. But here's some steamed rice. And you have some pineapple beef curry and some sticky chicken. I'm not sure what is on the sticky chicken. Um, if you can find anything freshly grilled, anything without some extra sauces on it, because that's where your calories are going to come into play, um, I would I would go with that. Okay, so there's a good example. They have someone cutting fresh meat. Um, this is barbecue chicken. Sometimes they'll have beef. Sometimes they'll have pork. So I would go ahead and uh, hit up the rotisserie for that. Okay, so the lunch rush is definitely in. There are long lines for everything. Uh, but I'm gonna grab some salad and a few other things and then let Colin get some food because I'm sure he's hungry too. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys what they have to offer, I'm gonna grab a plate for myself and I will show you what I get when I get back to the table. So I just got back to the table and I wanted to show you guys what I chose for lunch. As I mentioned before, salad. Anything with dark greens is the best. Um, I added a few um, things of cabbage and mushrooms and cucumbers, and I did a light raspberry vinaigrette dressing. On top, I put barbecue chicken from the rotisserie. Then I got some steamed white rice and some grilled fish with the tropical salsa. And then, Steamed vegetables, roasted carrots, and I got a few roasted garlic potatoes because I was afraid that I wouldn't have enough carbs from the rice. So another thing to remember, or lastly to remember, is when it goes comes to protein, you want to stay lean. So lean protein is anything like poultry or fish. So for carbs, you want to go anything not processed. So um, rice is totally fine. You also want to do potatoes as long as they're not, you know, covered in butter or deep fried. And um, you can stick with the root vegetables for a denser, um, starchier carb. And then make sure you get your veggies. So steamed or fresh are the best um, to maintain all of the nutrients that you need. So overall, a pretty good meal. Um, We'll see what Colin picks up. Peppers, veggies, and fish. Super simple. Cool. Alright guys, so there you have it. If you are concerned about eating healthy on a cruise and you think that there aren't any options, don't be concerned anymore because there are options. Just remember, lean protein, non-processed carbs, veggies, low fat. And you got yourself a great meal. So, that concludes this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you take the vibe, please subscribe. If you care, please share. We'll see you in Payday.